What's going on YouTube? This is Mark with Waste Deep Wade Fishing Southwest Florida. Hope everyone is having a good weekend. I'm sitting outside right now. The weather's quite miserable. Miserable. It's blowing like 20 plus out on the water. Otherwise I'd be out fishing. So I decided to go ahead and get the barbecue fired up. Got a little a couple of pork steaks going with a little Dale seasoning. A little southern seasoning on there. Fantastic. And uh, today's subject is going to be a subject that no one really talks about. Uh, I rarely see videos on it, so I decided I wanted to make one. And this whole video is going to be dedicated to protecting yourself against the sun. Um, sunburn, you know, you could get burned down here in as little as 15 minutes out of the water in, in midsummer. And skin cancer is prolific. You'll see a lot of the old timers with bits and pieces of their ears cut off um, and pieces cut out of their hands um, and their face because through the years of fishing out here in Southwest Florida, they decided not to wear the proper protection. So we're gonna talk about it today. So the first thing I wanna talk about, what type of shirts you should be wearing. Um, you wanna look for a shirt, there's tons of brands out there, I'm not gonna go through, through them all, Columbia, Real Legend, Hook, you name it, they got it. But you wanna look for um, an SPF, a protection of 50 or more. Uh, preferably if you spend the money, um, then anywhere between 50 and 80 bucks, <clears throat> you can get some that have um, anti-microbial, some of them will actually have a cooling system built in like this one I'm wearing. So if you get it wet or you sweat, it actually starts to cool your body. Uh, very important to keep your body cool and keep hydrated while you're out on the water. Um, sometimes with the heat index, especially in Florida, in the summer it can reach as high as 107 with 100% humidity. Um, and a, UP, a, rate, a UPF rating, uh, I believe, of uh, 11 plus, off the charts, as high as it can be. Um, so you wanna be very, very careful out there. So the first thing you wanna get is you wanna look for a shirt that has that type of protection. Now this particular shirt comes, comes with built-in hand protection. Let me show you. You slip your thumb through like this, and your thumb through like this, and now the top, so your, your hands are protected from the sun. Only your fingers are exposed. So this is the one I usually wear. It's, it's, it's my daily driver. It's the one I use when I'm out there um, fishing on a regular basis, especially when it's hot and it's sunny. The next thing you want to wear, of course, would be a hat. Um, this is a Columbia hat. It's made for fishing. It's built to last. It's, you know, it, it has an air wicking in it. It, 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 it has holes, little mi you know, microscopic holes in the back so your, the air flows through the hat, comfortably keeps your head cool. Um, it has a darker bill on the inside to reflect sunlight. Uh, very, very lightweight, very comfortable. Um, has a stretch band, you know, runs you between 20 and 30 bucks and definitely something that you'll wanna invest in when you're out there. The next thing would be of course, sunglasses, uh, polarized sunglasses. There's tons of them out there. I'm sure I don't have to go through that whole subject um, on glasses. The next thing that you're gonna wanna need, that, that you're definitely gonna need, is you're gonna need face protection, protection on your ears, protection on your nose, your lips, your face. So this, this particular unit comes with a hood, but that's not enough. So you want to get yourself a face guard, or what they call a gator. Now this one has a, U, uh, a UV rating, I believe, of uh, 50. So they can run you anywhere from 10 to 30 bucks. This, this particular one actually has a cooling agent. It's very breathable, it's stretchable, it's light, it does the job, and it keeps you from getting sunburn, and it keeps you from getting skin cancer. When you're putting on all those chemicals and all those lotions, you're in the water, uh, it's actually not good if you put that on your hands and touch a lure. Um, once you get that sunblock on your fingers and touch your, your rod or touch one of the um, uh, lures or jigs or plugs that you're using, that smell will go on the plug and the fish will not uh, touch that plug. They will not go near it. So this is the best option to go. So with this, you would put this right over like this, okay, just like that. You'd have your sunglasses on, nothing is exposed, and you would think that this would be very uncomfortable and hot. But believe it or not, what I do 
is I'll wet it with cool water, put it on my face, throw the hood on, just like so, with the sunglasses, and now I'm completely protected. Okay, the sun is not gonna penetrate through here. I can stay out in the sun for five to six hours with no problem, with no sunburn whatsoever. So, as far as protection goes, they do have different types of face protection. I brought a few out just to show you. Now, this one is a little heavier. It's a pretty cool design. It has the, the style of a mahi-mahi. Uh, that's the pattern on it, but it has a, it has a rating of 80 so on those super super hot days and super sunny days I'll switch out from this one to this one for a little bit more protection now if it's partly sunny and you know you got 80 90 degree weather and you do have cloud cover and you don't want to wear something that is thick as a 50 they do make them a little bit lower now this particular one I have is very very thin as you can see okay it's a cool pattern on it it's actually the pattern from a, a Wahoo um, and this has a uh, sun protection limit of 30 so this would be the thinnest of them all so it all depends on you know how hot it's gonna be how sunny it's gonna be and how comfortable you want to be uh, while you're out there wade fishing, but you definitely want to put in, you definitely want the protection. It's very, very important. It's something that everybody should have. And you want to stay hydrated out there. Um, if you feel faint or you feel dizzy, get off the water, get back onto the trail, get to your car, uh, and always pack extra water. What I like to do is I'll fill my um, Yeti cooler up with ice water. And when I'm walking out to the flat, I'll stash that Yeti ice water somewhere in the you know somewhere in in the mangroves I'll put it in a tree somewhere you know what I mean where I can get to it so in case you know I run out of water I've got a full gallon of ice cold water when I'm out there to stay protected to pour over my head in case I get too hot uh, as far as your legs go I mean you're in the water you, they do get sunburn I rarely put stuff on my legs you could go with some Columbia wading pants they're real thin um they're like a linen type they do have an spf of like i think 50 somewhere in that range i don't wear them you know i'll just wear the wading wading boots my fishing shorts and this this type of gear here and it pretty much keep you know my eyes with sunglasses on my eyes at all times <clears throat> and with that being said you're fully protected so I'm going to wrap this up. I just wanted to put a video out there to show the importance of protection from the sun. My name is Mark. This is Waste Deep Wave Fishing, Southwest Florida. Please like, share, subscribe, share to a friend, spread the word um, about the content that I'm providing, pass it around, help the channel grow. And again, you know, hats off to everyone that has subscribed. I love you all. Again, my name is Mark. Take it easy, and I'll see you on the next video.